You in tonight's Aloha Authentic, the history of the island's land divide. Here's Kamakapili with more. We all make use of our island roadways, but when was the last time you paid attention to their given names? Did you know you can learn more about Hawaii if you did? Our weekly Aloha Authentic segment, we highlight various streets across the island chain so we can dig into those names and in turn, learn something new. This week, we bring attention to how our islands are broken up. In the Ahupua'a of Honolulu, which lies in the moku of Kona here on Oahu, stands a short street that's named after a large land district in Hawaii. We're talking about Moku Place. In ancient Hawaii, there was no private land ownership as Hawaiians looked at land as their chief and they its stewards. Every island was broken down into large land districts known as Moku, extending from the mountaintops to the sea. Moku are further broken down into smaller land sections known as Ahupua'a, each being controlled by a land manager or Konohiki. With an Ahupua'a stretching from the uplands down into the ocean, the idea is that it encompasses all the natural resources that is needed to sustain a living community, from water to agriculture to spiritual beliefs. Barter was a way of life for community members, exchanging mountain supplies for those of the coastlines, creating a balance. The boundaries of each Ahupua'a were distinguished by natural land features, but were also identified by heaps of stones, or ahu, surmounted with an image of a pig, or pua'a. Tributes were also laid on the ahu as tax to the chief. Ahupua'a were itself comprised of smaller subdivisions known as ili, which were then broken down even more. As one Hawaiian proverb explains, land has no need for man, but man needs the land and works it for a livelihood. Did you know? Now you do.